Regal's DG5000 is an advanced arbitrary waveform generator and we're showing you the kind of performance you can expect from that instrument. You've found one of a range of videos from the Regal UK team. This is a DG5000 series. It's an advanced waveform generator capable of multiple functions. It can do AM and FM modulation, digital and analog. This model comes in a range of different frequencies from 350 MHz 250 MHz, 100 MHz and 70 MHz ranges in both 1 and 2 channel models. The one on the bench here is a DG5252, 250 MHz 2 channel. We're showing its output on a Regal DSA815 spectrum analyzer through a small attenuator to enable us to see the low noise performance. It has an excellent rise time and fall time capability with a 1 giga sample per second sample rate. The 14-bit resolution means this is an exceptional instrument for low noise and high dynamic range testing. Options support frequency hopping and arbitrary editing of waveform patterns in an advanced editor. It makes it extremely capable as a professional bench instrument. There are a full range of built-in waveform and arbitrary wave functions. The DG5000's wide output amplifier bandwidth and also its ability to handle IQ modulation functions makes it very popular in communications applications, as does its ability to superimpose noise and generate wide noise spectrums. The DG5000 can also be PC connected through a wide variety of means, including USB, LAN and GPIB, all of which are available as standard on the rear of the instrument. We're going to explore the output of this DG5000 set at 50 MHz sine wave and we're going to look at it on a DSA815 TG Regal Spectrum Analyzer in more detail in a moment. There is an attenuator set at 20 dB for safety between the two instruments. Let's now have a close-up of the front panel of the DG5000 and you can see the settings. It's set to 50 MHz sine wave at a level so that we can see a clean peak on the spectrum analyzer. We're looking for purity and good spectral content. The front panel of the DG5252 is very intuitive to drive. Under sine wave I can add some modulation. I'm going to choose a modulation shape under amplitude modulation and I'm going to choose a sine wave or I could change it to modulate it with a noise waveform. There are a whole range of buried functions which are very easy to access from the front panel to get the best out of the instrument. Now let's have a look at what that signal looks like when we view it on the DSA815 Regal Spectrum Analyzer. I'm showing the output on a DSA815 screen you can see that it's got an extremely good dynamic range displayed from minus 30 dBm down to minus 130 dBm. Let's bring up the level on the DG5000 until that 50 MHz sine wave is about minus 40 dBm. The spectrum analyzer at the moment is not set to show a very narrow signal because the resolution bandwidth is quite broad. So at 1 MHz Currently we're going to reduce that to show narrowband signals much more clearly. This will enable us to investigate the spectral content. The noise floor will also drop down as you can see. Once we've dropped the resolution bandwidth down to about 3 kHz, you can see that the noise floor is sufficiently low to reveal the very low spurious emissions from the DG5000. You can see that they are around about minus 110 dBm in this particular example, the general level of spurious emissions is very good. We can also see that the purity of that 50 MHz sine wave is very clear. This is 60 or more decibels of dynamic range from this signal. So very low spurious emissions and the first harmonic is also very low at over minus 90 dB right on the right hand side. I'll also now show you how to add modulation to that signal and you will be able to see that we can add noise modulation from the DG which produces a very broadband noise signal on the spectrum analyzer.
The output amplifier performance enables the DG to produce a very broadband noise signal. If I show the same 50 MHz signal on the DSA, but this time adjusting the DG5252 so that it modulates the signal with some other modulation formats. The modulation light has lit up, showing that the DG is modulating it with a very low frequency FM signal. And the DSA815 tracks that modulation, showing its deviation very, very slowly. So as I go from sub 1 hertz modulation to higher frequency modulation, you can see the DG, the DSA is keeping track very well. I'll now adjust the DSA to show us that more clearly. I'm going to need to adjust the DG as well so that those sidebands can be seen more clearly. I'm now increasing the frequency of the modulating signal. What this will do is broaden the sidebands and make them much more visible on the DSA815. What we're interested in is the low noise floor and also good broadband modulation performance from the DG. The span currently being shown on the screen is 100 kilohertz but we can investigate broader modulation widths. Let's see what happens when we use much wider deviation on the DG5252. The spectrum analyzer is showing a pure signal. The span on the spectrum analyzer is now 100 megahertz with the 50 megahertz signal in the middle. Let's now push up the modulation deviation on the DG. You can start to see that the central signal spike is broadening a little bit. Already we're getting 1 MHz of deviation from that DG5252, but the DG can go much broader. Let's keep pushing up the modulation deviation to show a much broader deviation. It's now several MHz wide. and now it's several tens of megahertz wide. That's a very interesting spectrum showing the capabilities of the output amplifiers on that DG. I can also change the deviation scheme to modulate with noise. This extremely broad spectrum of modulation can be used to perform tests outside the normal deviation range of amplifiers. So that demonstrates how capable the DG5252 deviation is, making it applicable to a wide range of communication systems tests. Finally, I'll just turn off the modulation on this signal to show that it does go back indeed to a 50 MHz carrier. So finally I'll now show you the arbitrary waveform performance of the 5252. On the memory stick that I'm plugging into the back of the instrument is a pre-recorded arbitrary waveform signal. This can be easily plugged into the instrument and the arbitrary waveform can be loaded as simply as this, change from sine wave to arbitrary wave, select the file that you require, I'm moving to the stored waveform section and I'm selecting the memory stick. Inside the memory stick I can pull that file off, it's now loading into the DG5252. The data from the arbitrary waveform is now being transferred to the DG5252 memory. That sequence of waveforms can be defined on PCs, on a PC using, for example, Excel to generate from a comma-separated variable file. Now immediately the DG is starting to play back that arbitrary waveform. It's playing it back at a very high rate and producing a very complex waveform. This waveform 
is capable of very, very broad sidebands because of the broad bandwidth of the output amplifiers. Again, by switching back to just the carrier, you can see the 50 megahertz sine wave. The arbitrary waveform in this case is being played back 50 million times per second. What I'm going to do now is adjust the span of the spectrum analyzer so that it looks beyond 100 megahertz to see how far that spectral content extends. Because of the broadband capability of the DG, you can see that it extends below above 180 megahertz, and in fact up to 250, and there's still quite a bit of spectral content from that signal. For all different frequencies of DG series, the output capability of the amplifiers is the same. The output amplifiers are in, uh, extremely capable of broadband output. I'm going to slow down the frequency of the arbitrary waveform just so you can see that it breaks up into regular spectral sections. So I'm reducing the frequency at which that waveform is now being replayed. The arbitrary waveform is being played at a much slower rate and you can see that a more regular spectral pattern with bands of signals starts to appear. The arbitrary waveform in this case is 100 points long. So there will be a regular pattern caused by playing it back less frequently. Even playing it at 9 kilohertz, it has extremely broad spectral content. These tests indicate just how capable the DG5000 is. For more informative videos on all of the latest Regal products, go to regal-uk.co.uk or view the YouTube channel for Telonic Instruments.